This tutorial is about texture seam adjustment in Photoshop. As you remember, in previous video, we finished UV mapping process, render UV templates and set up templates in Photoshop. So now you can paint texture and preview final outcome in real time. When you paint your texture, the hardest part is to match edges of the texture where the cut was made. This is even more visible when you apply textures from photo. You can clearly see seams on the belly, legs, as well as mouth area. If you do not have Substance Painter, Matbox or similar program on your computer, you can use 3D Photoshop options and adjust texture that you just created. First, select and export your model to OBJ format. Second, open OBJ in Photoshop. Third, set up your work area. So you can see layer and 3D view side by side. Under layer, double click diffuse texture to open it in new view. Select 3D view in menu bar, then go to windows, arrange and select two up vertical. To rotate object in 3D view, use Move tool. Any other tool will switch 3D projection to 2D mode. To activate change in light direction, click little bulb icon. And then you may change light direction. Click background to deactivate light option. Next, use Photoshop tools to hide, blend, visible seams. Wacom tablet will be useful in this situation. If dark shadow bothers you, you can neutralize it by going to 3D options, environment settings and changing global ambient and shadow color under infinity light one. You may also change light intensity. If you do not wish to see grid second view window or light icon, you may turn them off. Go to view, show and deselect them one by one. Now you can continue working on your texture. Add details and fix seams. When you finish fixing texture, you need to export 3D layers. Click 3D, export layers in properties, change 3D file format to OBJ and choose texture format. Click OK and save button. Next, you can open your new texture and rename it if you desire so. Then go back to 3D Studio Max and apply updated texture to your character. If you need to make additional changes, you need to go back to Photoshop and repeat last few steps. Have fun and remember that by swapping texture on the mesh, you may create new character or update character status if you create game. Thank you and good luck.